Okay, we are at unit number nine, and this is IE number six, line number six. Thank you, Profi. That's the static static piece of the line. That's why it's crucial. Wait, 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 pull back. Mm -hmm. That's why it's vital in this area to have the lines flushed every twice a year or every once a year. See if you can get past that. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Push it. Push it, push it. Push it. Let's see if we can move it on or get through it. Ah, take it out. Messed up in the front, I can't see anything. I did not do it. Wash it. And this first section here is about one and a half meter. And how far is the space came down? No, uh, this line, they, well, they can start from about 600 from the paving. Yeah. Because this line is now falling in that direction, it will start here. This one is surprisingly deep, although it still ends up on, on that side. So it can start shallow and then going deeper as we go. I mean, there's no set that turns the No, it's, 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 it all depends on what's underground, mm -hmm. what the fall. And what is, what is normally your basic thing? Is it like roots or grass? Most, the most problems we've got is fat. Fat? Yeah. yeah. And if you say flush it, what do you use? You just put your hose pipe inside. So like for instance, this first section of your line, your first drain is in where? Right here. Yeah. Probably a bathroom. Oh, there it is. There's it. Right behind the mop. Okay. So that line is connected there. Mm -hmm. But this first section, first two and a half meters is... You can go inside, Profi. If I, if I don't get through it, I'm going to just make a note. Your first section of your line is... is, is, is there's no flow on this section. You see, there's, there's the coupler. Just okay. pull it back. That coupler there. That coupler, mm -hmm. that part there. Connected under that white bucket. Oh, okay. All right. And what 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 sort of material? What this is probably it? most soil from your entry, mostly soil. And what happens is um, sewage push back in your line, okay. and then when the water flushes away, some material stays behind. Okay. That's why it end, ends up in this in this bend here. See if we can get through that, Profi. Go go go! Ah, oh, beautiful, nice. So where is that now? This line now is starting here on the big bucket and we're going that direction now. Oh, okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I thought it was going to go No, no, it goes, it goes flat and then this whole line is connected there at the garages. Go slowly, slowly, slowly. Uh, we've got somebody who did the washing. Pull back. Pull back, pull back. We're not going to be able to see anything. Right, push it through. Let's see. Let's see what we can do in the front. See that's there's, there's too much too there's not enough flow on this. That's why the, the foam stays behind. Where are they now? Profi, we are we are we are just pushing the foam forward. Uh, I think we're on the unit next door. Yeah, if you, if you're not doing the the washing, we are. But I mean the you see there's a second line mm -hmm. here somewhere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This way. And then there's a kitchen drain next door. Yeah, so the foam is right here under this house. Okay. So yeah, it's from this house. Okay. Prof, it's fine. Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Too. Else, you know, yeah, we, we come and we've got a little plunger. It's a, first it's a steel brush and then we put a rubber oh. plunger and we push it straight mm -hmm. through and wash oh, the line. Okay. It, it, the the problem is it won't take it won't take foam from the ceiling because mm -hmm. this whole line is full of foam. Pull the camera back, Profi. Um, see the foam stays. The, the, 
the phone was on the camera. Take the whole camera. We sit. We sit through. We sit through. Wait, wait, wait. Put your put your hose pipe in for me. I've got solid material standing here. You see, I've got some solid lying right here. Uh, that's better. A little bit more. What the hell is that? Right. Close me the tap. What is this machine called? Oh. This one is 78. <laughs> and how does that have a, a, a warranty? Or? No, no, you have to. You have a I, I lose that little plastic things on the on the front. I lose them once a month no, because they get they, because they get stuck on the fittings when we pull it out. Right, no. like push it. Let's see. But is it a local? local no, it's all. It's an import. Uh, this one is from Sweden. Lockdown, you able to work yeah, no, we worked straight through. That was the nice one. Uh, this line is in, in fairly good condition. You can see on the left the black section on the line. That is where material was standing and flowing slowly. We now are looking for a connection from unit number seven. That's the one I want. That is unit seven. And then uh, Sorry, unit number eight. What unit is this? Yes, that's unit number eight's connection. So I just want to see unit number seven's connection, and that's the one I want. Let's take a few more meters. Let's see, we can This one is in fairly good condition, although there was material standing at certain stages. And we flushed it now. Whoa, stop, pull back for me. Two bags. We have got roots. Uh, that is the three day. This is nine eight seven. At unit number seven, right at the front door from unit number seven, we've got roots in the line, um, and I think that's the reason why we had material standing in this line at the beginning, and at certain places in the middle of the line there was material standing. And you can also see on the roots that there is material hanging from the ceiling of the roots. That means that this line folds up at certain stages. And recommendation is going to be to have this root removed. Watch your meters.